Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Organizer Bootcamp with Melissa Merrill. I am Melissa Merrill, your Pro Organizer coach for new pro organizers and those looking to grow and scale their professional home organization businesses. So that being said, I have been meaning to do this video for a while and so I'm popping on here today just to deliver you with some real talk. So let's get right into it. These are my thoughts on why I do not recommend setting up a gift card sort of promotional structure within your pro organizing business. Okay, so first things first, I really don't believe that you can force organization on anyone. So if you've ever organized in your life for strangers, you know, not just your friends and family, then you know that clutter is emotional and that people a lot of times have a lot of hangups on holding on to their clutter. So living in the some days, oh, someday I'll use that. Someday I'll save that for a Halloween costume. Someday um, my kids will want to look at that when they're older. You know, all of these some days, right? What if I need that for a, um, yard project in the backyard what if my husband gets mad that you get rid of that what if um my you know mother comes back to haunt me because you got rid of that whatever it is right some days and what ifs um clutter is emotional so people get tied to the emotions of stuff emotions of things when i look around as an organizer and an organized person that tries to live a somewhat minimalistic lifestyle i don't necessarily get attached to things i'm about to embark on a cross-country move and honestly i'm either leaving most of my stuff here and renting my place as is furnished or I'm decluttering probably about 90% of it because it's expensive to move stuff. I myself am not particularly attached to things, but the chronically disorganized hoarders, people that are hiring professional help to come in and help them get organized, a lot of times do have these clutter hangups, right? These emotions tied to um, their stuff that's in their lives, including living in the some days and what ifs. So that being said, if you've ever worked with anyone beyond friends and family, then you've probably noticed that it, uh, it gets difficult when you're maybe working with a husband and wife, right? Uh, maybe the wife wanted to hire the organizer and the husband is like the clutter, clutter person that, you know, has stacks and piles of books and paperwork and um, coffee mugs or whatever things around the house. Right. And so she's hiring you as the organizer to come in and to try to solve his problem. Right. That usually doesn't go over so well because people um, need to know within themselves that that's a goal that they have for themselves. Maybe that guy loves his piles, he loves his paperwork, he loves his books, he loves his mugs, and he sees no problem with it. But when the wife tries to come in and force that um, ideology on him of you need to be more minimalistic or you need to be tidier or neater or you know, keep your spaces more decluttered, whatever it is, that usually doesn't go over so well because as humans, we naturally don't really wanna to be told what to do, especially as adults, right? And especially from our spouse. We don't wanna be pointed a finger at and embarrassed or humiliated, especially in front of a stranger like a pro organizer coming into your home. So what I recommend always when I get a call from say a child of a um, pack rat type parent, right? This happens a lot of times when we see uh, Great Depressioners or baby boomers and now their kids are looking around going, oh my God, I don't wanna have to go through all that stuff when they pass away or I don't wanna have to go through all that stuff in the will or in the trust, right? And so they're usually calling organizers. Hey, can you help my mom? She has this clutter problem. Hey, can you help my dad? He's pretty much a pack rat and I just can't deal with it and neither can my siblings and so we need to hire professional help. Those are red flags to watch out for because again, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make the um, horse drink. So I can, I can lead my clients to saying, hey, this is what you might experience on the other side of clutter, on the other side of that overwhelm and that decision fatigue and that um, emotion that comes from having like chaos in your life physically, right? It tends to parlay into your life emotionally and mentally. Um, and so that being said, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make them drink. So if you are getting calls from, you know, children of cluttered parents or uh, spouses of cluttered wives or husbands, whatever it is, 
just always take that with a grain of salt and you really want to actually talk to the person that you're going to be working with specifically. So it's one thing to take that call and go, okay, son or daughter, sure, I'll be at uh, your mom's house, you know, next Wednesday at 9 a.m. Do you know how upset that that mom is probably gonna be Wednesday at 9 a.m. when you show up and you're like, here, we're here to get rid of all your stuff, right? That can be terrifying, embarrassing, humiliating, and they're not ready for it. And so what really, I'm gonna use like a Peter Griffin quote, grinds my gears here is that a lot of times organizers get so excited about starting their business and they're like, I'm gonna do all these promotions and blah, 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 which is amazing. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm all about advertising, marketing, promoting, building your personal brand, getting yourself on sites like Google My Business and Yelp and Find My Organizer and Thumbtack and Nextdoor and all of these amazing resources, right? But I never, ever, ever recommend doing gift cards, gift certificates, or specials like give the gift of organization and it's like a Mother's Day special, right? Give your mom the gift of organization, it's Father's Day. Give your dad the gift of organization. You know, uh, help clear out his tool shed and get the garage organized or this or that or the other. I never say that. Why do I never say that? Because I know that people don't want to be forced into anything, let alone getting rid of things that are very, very, very emotional to them deep down. Things that they might need to see a psychologist for, a psychiatrist for, a therapist for, things that they might need clinical support for if they are actually chronically disorganized or have a hoarding issue. So you'll never, ever, ever see me say on all of those platforms, on your blog, on your website, on your Instagram, on your Facebook, hey, you should hold this special to say, you know, $250 for a four hour session, but give it to your mom and I'll sell it to you for 200 or give it to your dad or give it to your friend or whatever it is, right? Um, it's kind of like, you know, if you hear these like horror story Valentine's Day stories of husbands that got their wife a vacuum, right? Like, how nice, thank you so much. I'm glad that you're now tasking me with vacuuming because now you're making me feel guilty that you gave me this freaking vacuum. And I would just be pissed and insulted anyway. Like, oh, are you telling me I need to clean more, right? So we hear these horror stories of, you know, Valentine's Day gifts gone awry or uh, Mother's Day gifts gone awry or whatever it is. And so I don't want you to be a victim of that. I don't want you to put yourself in that situation. So A, I never am going to recommend gift cards, gift certificates, or promotions involving giving the gift of organization because it's not a gift. For most people, it is stressful and it is something that they need to reach out to you first on. And two, you'll never see me recommending that uh, you work with you know children of hoarding parents or pack rat parents or spouses who are just trying to point fingers and say, I don't like how they work, blah, 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 blah. right? Those are not necessarily the job of a professional organizer or at least not the job of most of the pro organizers that I work with because again, I don't do anything having to do with hoarders or with anything that is more of a clinical type approach because I'm not, I'm not a licensed social worker, I'm not a mental health um, professional, I'm not any of those things, right? I am there to help people declutter, downsize, get rid of what they uh, have in their life that no longer serves them and help them decide what to keep, toss, donate, consign, sell, all of those things, right? I am not there to point fingers at spouses. I'm not there to witness, you know, divorces in action or, you know, issues with parental bonds in action. And I wouldn't want to wish that on you either. So those are my very real talk examples of why you will never see me uh, recommending gift cards, gift certificates, or promotions in that regard. So if you'd like to watch a few of my other videos, you can check me out here on YouTube. I am Pro Organizer Bootcamp, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at Pro Organizer Bootcamp. I'm very active on there, as well as Facebook and Pinterest at Pro Organizer Bootcamp. On top of that, you can also check out my course if you are wanting to start a professional organizing business. You can check it out at www.proorganizerbootcamp.com. Thanks so much for watching.